How about how much money needs to be at stake before it makes it worthwhile for a litigator to get involved? Well, you know, in, uh, uh, this will probably seem fairly obvious, and it, it kind of goes back to one of the comments uh, that Ken made about, you know, a gross participation. But obviously the amount of uh, leverage that you have in negotiating with the studio determines an awful lot. Um, there have been times when we have gotten involved in litigation where we, you know, where I represent somebody who uh, is very highly valued by the studio. That can often make my job uh, that much easier. Um, you know, I think that one of the things that it's important to do is to do everything you possibly can to ultimately avoid litigation. I mean, litigation is, is, is a, a matter of last resort. And so I think the amount of time and effort that you can put into trying to resolve issues at the audit phase and at the post-audit phase, in other words, when Steve has conducted his audit and finished his audit, and there are issues on the table, and those issues are now queued up and are very clearly set forth for the studio, that's a great time to try to resolve things and to try to avoid litigation. I don't think anybody up here, and, and Steve can comment on this since he, he really does this all the time, nobody goes into this looking to litigate with the studios. I mean, I can tell you it is not, uh, not always for the, it's not for the faint of heart to litigate. You know, studios are very aggressive in litigation. Um, they will do what they can to uh, make it an unpleasant and you know, expensive experience for you. But I think, you know, to go back to the old st statement, uh, I know it when I see it. I think with respect to when is it worthwhile to litigate is there has to have been a good, solid audit conducted by Steve. There has to be dollars that are clearly on the table. And there has to be an assessment that the studio has taken what is what appears to be and what can reasonably claim to be an unreasonable position. And, you know, it, it's... It's, go, go back to, to, to Steve's comment about being in front of a jury in, in Riverside County. Um, you know, there's nothing, you, you really can't appreciate this process until you've stood in front of a group of people and, and picked a jury and, and had people ask questions about the types of things that would seem, you know, f for those of you who obviously who are in the entertainment business, even at the beginning to the end, the types of things that you take for granted. Having said that, in my experience, juries typically and almost always get things right. And that's one of the reasons why the studios are working as hard as possible to keep things away from juries and put them into arbitration, where they have arbitrators who um, they know very well. <laughs>